Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to attempt to design a YouTube thumbnail in Adobe Illustrator in under five minutes. Last time I tried this was in Photoshop and I totally got it wrong. I did it well over five minutes. I totally underestimated how much this challenge would take. So if you want to check that video out, leave it in the card now. And remember, if you do get something out of these videos, hit subscribe, smash the like button, turn on notifications and all the rest of it. So without further ado, let's shove five minutes on the timer, let's get into the video guys. So first thing you're gonna need to do is head into Illustrator and set up a document. The size of the document you're gonna need is 1280 by 720. Once you've got those dimensions in this dialog box, you wanna hit create. We're here inside Illustrator and the first thing I'm going to do is create a box which is half the size of the entire page. So I'm just dragging this rectangle tool and I'm going to change it to half by going into the scale at the top, hitting space, and then a little divide symbol and two. And that'll give me exactly half the size of the frame. So down at the bottom right hand side, I've got the palette for my fitness instructor friend, and we're going to do this thumbnail for her. Next thing I'm going to do is to bring in an image. To bring in an image, all I'm doing is just doing a drag and drop from my folders into Illustrator. I'm just going to line this up on the right hand side. And I'm going to scale this bigger, but if you want to constrain the proportions, hit shift and it will keep the image the size it should be. Now I'm going to send this to back, so you can do that by right clicking, arrange, send to back. And we now have the image on the right and the box on the left hand side. Just like the image, I'm going to add the logo at the top here. So I'll drag the logo in. And I've placed that across the box on the left hand side. You can resize that down as well, holding shift and scaling it down and dragging. Make that sort of center inside that box. Now we're going to create a text box here with um, what this video is all about. So create a text box, click on the T and drag a text box. Inside the text box there is some dummy text. I'm going to get rid of that in just a sec. I'm going to center the text, press delete to get rid of the text. And the font we're going to use is Montserrat, and it's the bold version. I'm going to up the scale to about 60. So we're going to put in 10, means beginner, and that's smaller. Hit workout, hit workout, change the color of the text to white. Change the text to this sort of light blue color, see what it looks like. I'm going to change that down to regular and make this other one bigger. I'm going to change that to be uppercase, make it smaller. So, the next thing I'm going to do is adjust some of the text on the page, and I'm going to fine tune this until I've got it almost like a template. So, that next time I want to jump into this, I can use it as a template. I can just literally open up this file, change the picture, change the text, and I've got something that I can work with quite quickly. First of all, I'm just gonna put a little clipping mask on this image because when I duplicate it, it's gonna cause me some issues. I'm just gonna create a box using the rectangle tool. Then I'm gonna select the rectangle that we've just created with the rectangle tool and then the image. Right click on them both and then go make clipping mask. And then I'm gonna send that image to the back. So up in the artboard here, I'm going to duplicate this artboard. Click on the artboard, three lines at the top, duplicate artboards. As you can see, there's another one created to the right there. We do the same again, duplicate artboard. Then I'm going to click on this rearranger all artboards button here. I'm just going to put them one below the other. It's the way I like to work. Now we've got our template for all these three. We're going to add a different image to this second one. So I'm going to delete these two other images to get rid of them. I'm going to add some new ones. So the same thing applies. I'm just going to add the image by dragging it into the file. Once the image is in the file, resize it by clicking shift on the corner of it and dragging. That helps with the, it not getting too squashed. Then we're gonna send the image to the back by going to range, center back, adjust your position and put a box around it. We're gonna put a clipping mask on that as well. So draw an empty box. Make sure you've got the box that you just created selected and the image, right click, make clipping mask. I'm gonna send that to the back, arrange, center back. Now that we've got this image in, we're gonna change the text on the right hand side to 
So I'm going to have it as 10 minutes beginner core workout. Again, uppercase, change that core workout by double clicking, type, uppercase, make it slightly smaller just to kind of fit with that. Let's do this last one by dragging in an image and changing the text again really quickly. So there we have our three YouTube thumbnails created for Seal Fitness. Last thing you need to do is to export these ready for YouTube to go to File and go to Export for Screens. Then select all the ones you want to export and go export artboards and that will export them to your computer ready for upload. There you have it, how to create a YouTube thumbnail in Illustrator in under five minutes. You can use these principles in any of the design programs out there, whether that be Photoshop, Canva, InDesign, anything that you can get your hands on to create a thumbnail. Remember, if you got something out of this video, hit the like button because it helps to show this video to like-minded individuals. If you want to support my channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to be alert every time I upload a new video. This video is part of a playlist. You'll find that in a card above now. There's some helpful how-to videos for both branding, marketing, and some other YouTube tutorials that I've put together as well. So go check that out as it's up in a card now. That's it from this video guys, I look forward to creating more content for you guys and I will see you in those videos. Take care, see you later. Hi and welcome to the video. In today's video we are going to be looking at, no we're not going to be looking at, we're going to be designing something aren't we? Hi and welcome, hi and welcome to the video. Today we're going, hi and welcome to the video. We are going to be attempting to design in, so there you have it, a Remember to relax. Golden rule, be yourself and relax. I'm saying that to you, Paul. You. Yes. You in the editing room, you're chopping all this stuff up, Paul. You.